everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Lizzie from Popsy Fighter, and I'm back today with another journal with me video for you. I am using this A4 size um, landscape journal, and um, the blue and the purple um, that background already was like in my journal. I just used that and I just scraped on some yellow and red paint with my ranger squeegee and that is the stencil that I want to use today. Um, this is my palette knife and I'm just scraping on some green paint randomly. I just wanted a very colorful background. I'm gonna make this page as a tribute to my grandma. She passed away in March and I don't know, I just wanted to, <clears throat> sorry, um, to art channel a bit. And now I'm getting out some mists. I don't spray with my mists because uh, that makes a mess. I just, okay, and then I spray with a mist. That was a uh, mica spray and you can hardly see it. It's just very um, shimmery. This was Heidi Swap Color Shine in Pink and Pure Sunshine Delusion Spray. And... I'm just cleaning off my stuff and I let that dry and what am I doing now? I'm sorry for my, um, how is that called, that uh, on the other side of the elbow? Um, I was at the hospital, I filmed this um, on the day I came home from hospital, which was um, my grandma's birthday, that's why I did that and she passed away, um, she had cancer. And I have this stamp set and I love how this looks. I love it so much. And now I'm, um, so I stamped it with Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and I used, these are um, water soluble crayons from Flying Tiger and I love them. And I just dipped them in water and scribble on some paint because I wanted this to be very colorful, very positive. I do bring in some black on my spread later, but very very little so I use these crayons and I love how this looks it looks so colorful and fun and and beautiful so um, I did fuzzy cut um, that which I do make you watch that um, that one here and now looking at it I was like I really like that so I got out that scrap piece of paper and I stamped quite a few more, four more, I think. Yes, four more. And um, I love, I love how this looks. This really, really makes me happy. And I'm gonna go back in with my um, crayons. They're also a bit translucent, which I really, really like. So as you can see, I just start with one color. Um, the green wasn't as translucent, so I hardly used any because I, it was you couldn't really see the pattern, um, like the pa the pattern of the stamp essentially. So um, I just randomly colored them, and I loved them. I really, I really do. So two more colors to go, and I just sop up um, some of the water with a paper towel. Okay, almost done. I really love that stamp. It also has a solid stamp, but I decided to use um, that. Um, like it has like swirls and flowers and all all kinds of stuff. So now um, I got out my exacto blade and my cutting mat, and I do trim out the insides of the ribbons as well so that is how that looks and do I make you watch it did that no I don't I don't think so so this is the stencil that got it all going so I did tape it down just a bit because it is very intricate the the hair is um, and as you can see, it flops up a thousand times. I should have adhered it on the other side as well. And I do use black because I love um, a colorful background and then something very bold 
black is bold so <laughs> I decided to do black and I'm just using a makeup sponge and I couldn't find my acrylic paint so I use this is like um, it's not texture paste it's what is it called I have no idea wait a second I have it next to me maybe there we go it is Oh, it is black chesso. It's very thin chesso, okay. So that's why it, it, it kept sticking to my fingers. And as you can, maybe you can see, I don't know if you can. Um, sometimes, like, when I removed my fingers from the stencil, they kind of stuck down. Which, well, it's, it's not a big deal, but... Yeah, so I had way too much out. So I did scrape some in, and then I decided... Um, which I do quite a bit on my, especially in that, oh god, look at that, it's so pretty. I decided to go around my page and use my makeup sponge and just um, scrape some black on there because I really like the look of that. Um, it just gives it a, a, a lovely border and I really, I really love that. So, um... I do that on both sides of my spread. Sorry, I'm a bit of frame. And also in the middle. I thought, I don't know, I just really like how it, it's framed. And it is together, but it's also kind of separate. So, here we go. I trimmed them all out. And I'm sorry, it's a bit cut off. It's just a few centimeters, if even, cut off. Okay, so, um, I do adhere my i just squirted the glue everywhere so i do adhere my um ribbons two next to this beautiful girl and two in the um upper corner on the left side just love how that looks and then i'm gonna do a long tile and um if you know um ed sheeran's song what's it called supermarket flowers and then there is this phrase where he says, when God took you home, he said, hallelujah, you're home. And when God took you back, he said, hallelujah, you're home. So that's what I'm going to do. And I do not make you watch me glue down all of that because that did take forever. So I did use three different fonts. I did do like all of the like non-important words um, with those black um stickers and then god i did with those giant gold ones which i think i i got them in happy mail i just don't remember who sent them to me sorry but i love them they are hard to see now so um i am personally not really religious and my grandma was and so that's that's why this is important to me to document that although it's not my beliefs, but um, it's hers. So there we go. When God took you back, he said, hello. Okay, you can't see them at all. These are like clear gold ones. And it's, it's, you can see that a lot better in real life. You can hardly see that. He said, hallelujah, and now you're home. I don't know if I cut that out or if I make you watch that. And I couldn't, I didn't have an apostrophe, so I had to do you are home. Because I, I didn't want to make a grammatical mistake if, if that's like your home, if, if that makes sense. I just used a Q and cut off the little descender, so um, it's an O. And for home, I again used those giant gold ones. And now I'm done with my title. And I love it. And obviously my grandma was, um, well, she was a grandma. So, and, and the stencil is a young lady. But um, I love how she looks. She looks, I don't know, it. she looks focused and strong. And, and that's why I wanted to, to use that. This is a stamp and it says, with faith all things are possible and I thought that was appropriate. That's from the same stamp set 
and that one says courage and it just goes to stamp that and I do use my matte tuxedo black ink it's just a frame a bit and what else am I doing oh yeah this is a new um, paint pen it's a Pintor something pen and um, it is um, pale orange is the color and this is my Goya a black acrylic paint marker and it didn't really work that well so I changed to that Faber Castell one and I just outlined all of the ribbons because I am um, you could see them better in real life but um, still I wanted to make them stand out more and I do love using black in my art journaling and this is also a new paint pen because um, why not use them all and this is, was also a solo Goya one. There, I have quite a few of these. And this is a Jane Davenport glitzy marker. And I love them. Then I decided I have these on my desk forever. These are turquoise glitter hearts. And I just decided to stick on a few randomly. Because why not? And... I am coming to the end. What I decided to do was add white highlights in my lady. And oh my god, I love it. This is a... Oh god, I forgot the name. A Uniball Signal Broad in white. And I decided to actually add highlights everywhere. And just started to scribble on color. And oh god, I love how it looks. It is so pretty. It just adds so much. So I'm, I'm completely off frame and I'm sorry but here I go cleaning up the stuff so I can put it in frame. So that was it for today. I love the end result. Oh that's a bit shaky. I'm sorry. Um, yeah, I really hope you enjoyed this video and you liked it too. And if you did, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!